All right, everybody. I just wrapped up my first stream for Dragon's Dogma 2. I did an 8-hour and 15-minute session, which is way longer than I usually do, which is about two and a half to three hours. But the game has been really, really, really fun. We're currently in the first village here. I think it's called Vermund is the name of the place. Uh, Vernworth, sorry. Vermund is the kingdom, sorry. So Vernworth is the name of the, the town we're in. It's been a I've been up since like 2 o'clock in the morning playing this. Um... It's been great. I'm on the PS5. Performance is fine. Like, all these people making fuss about the 30 frames per second don't know what they're talking about. It looks, as you can see, absolutely breathtaking. Um, I am wearing a, uh, a, 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 a really cool outfit apart from my little silken panties because <laughs> there are some weird cosmetic choices made in this game and my ranger pants are just basically yeah but the rest of his outfit looks really cool so uh it's been fun running around but um the game looks great uh, visually we've been very impressed with this um it's a very big place um so as we run around and explore um we've done quite a bit hang on let me tab over here um We've roamed around quite a bit. I want to kind of head outside for the moment to give you guys a, a better look at things. Um, and then we can talk a little bit more just about the game so far and how it's played. Um, it's been a very, very, very immersive experience. What do we have in town? Something's happening. Oh, shit. Well, I guess we're going to have a we're going to have a combat encounter here, everybody. And it like, hold on. This will be interesting. What is that in the middle of here and why? She dropped him at my feet. So that's something that you can see. The AI is far more intelligent than it was in the first game. Man, I don't have any arrows, explosive arrows. Why is this monster in the middle of a, our town? Yeah, I see. Oh, oh! Move, move, move. He wants to eat me. You better get it while it's down. Trying to buck him off. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Oh no! <laughs> I should have ran. No, don't die. Don't you dare die. Hang on. Hit the wrong button. Drink a potion, buddy. Drink another potion. I don't have any explosive arrows. This sucks. The explosive arrows are so cool, but I don't have any. Run! That thing is going berserk. He's 
that a Minotaur, by the way? I haven't fought one of these before. Oh shit, it's coming for me. Oh no, it's down. Oh! Crit hit, baby! Minotaur horn, level 14. With what? I thought we just helped oh, you out. You hear my what have you got to lose? This is, by the way, this is the perfect thing to show you in my first impressions video. Because what you just saw, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, hear him out. My thanks, sir. As to the matter at hand, it concerns my ox cart business. Okay. I've been holding off service on account of all the monsters on the road. But now I feel prepared to start making trips to Melv again. Okay. Only trouble is, there are still monsters about, and I can't help but worry for the safety of the carts. Sure. That's where you come in. See, I've got a letter here from Lady Margit, the Watchhead's wife. I've met her. Delivered to one Sir Leonard in Melv. Yep. Oh, no, I haven't met Lady Margit, but I have met Sir Leonard. I'd like you to accompany the cart in my stead and see to it that the letter reaches its Sure. Recipient. Sure. What say you, friend? We'll agree to accompany the ox cart. Splendid. I knew I was right to put my faith in you. Now, the carts only depart at certain hours of the day. But I find that time flies when I take a seat at the station to wait. And mind you, don't forget to pay your way before you board. That's standard practice. And I would advise against trying any funny business. Each cart travels with an escort of trained soldiers, see? In case it encounters any monsters. Yeah, I'm familiar with it. Anyone thinking of riding yeah, yeah, yeah. Free? Don't care. But enough of my <laughs> lecturing. Just make sure. Oh, and I'll pay your fare this time. Come find me when you've delivered that letter. Um, we ought to see this to its destination. Okay. What happened was I hailed him in the middle of, like, examining the monster. So, um, we'll totally take the cart. But before we do that, um, we're going to do that in another stream. So, you see that you see that griffin that's flying up there, everybody? Look at that guy. He's just waiting. He's just he's just waiting for somebody to be stupid enough to go out there and get close enough to him. I have not been stupid enough to go out there and be close enough to him. One hopes these carts offer comfort and um, commensurate to their cost. It's a big, 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 big... Big, 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 big place. Um, we can look out around us and see just this massive map. Um, and then if we open this map up, we can see that we, that town we're in, is just right here. And then all the green is the areas that I've explored over about eight hours of gameplay, right? So this is, this is, this represents eight hours of me following the the main quests of the game i haven't really done too many side quests other than what's in the city um, but i have gone and done there was three quests to go find bad guys and do things with them and that's what this represents so about eight hours of game um, but we can come out to here um, and you can see that this is essentially um, a tiny 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 portion of this much larger map that you see here um so i guess that's a little bit i wasn't looking at the full thing so i've explored up up over there as well because we took an ox cart so this was like the beginning of the game and then this was the last half of the game so there's two areas not just the one so my bad i had to open up the map to see that um but in eight hours we've uncovered you know a portion of the map so it's a pretty big place um and because there's no fast travel that feels very very big um, obviously, you can use the ox carts. I've used one fairy stone. They are pretty rare and hard to get your hands on. Um, but it's been pretty easy to get around. It hasn't been too dangerous so far. But also, like, paying attention to your things around you, like that griffin over there. Like, we've had to avoid him. There's been two or three times. Um, and I've had to avoid um, a couple of minotaurs and things. So... Um, yeah, it's a dangerous world, um, and if we want to take this ox cart, we would need to go with them. I'm going to hop in it, just... Or no, maybe that's not the ox cart. Is it this the ox cart? Hold to talk. I think that is the ox cart. Is that the one we can jump in the back of really quick? Because he was talking about it and I was questing, so... 
gotta be it. This ox cart's bound for Mel. Works for me. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Here's a hundred gold. Relatively safe, but we can get stuck along the way. We're gonna doze off and see what happens. Occasionally, we'll get attacked. In the intro, you'll definitely get attacked. Um, but they're gonna show you out here. Are we getting attacked? It was a nope. bumpy ride. But we've arrived all the same. We've arrived all we the same. We employ a cart for our next journey. Where are we? Melf! And we have a quest here. Oh, she's Nizzle! Look at this. We arrive in Melv, and there's something else going. This is per this is your first impressions of this game, ladies and gentlemen. Hurry, everyone! Get yourselves to safety. You go with them. I'll spell that thing myself. There you are. Oh no! I better get back. Fire hot. Fire hot. <laughs> There's like some spines on its back. Do you see that bubble on its back? What is that? So it's definitely like doing a chunk when it hits that. We must rally. Oh, uh, are we making it run away? That definitely does a huge chunk when I hit that. The problem is getting it to land every time. I need to get down there a little closer. Mind the fluid it sprays. We'll do more than sting. Portion. Approaches. What approaches? Ooh, there's ones on his leg, too. I wish I could lock on to those weak points, but I can. Not not until I get magic archer, I think. Oh, that's hitting him though. Maybe, maybe I don't have to worry about manually targeting. Oh no! It, it. Oh no! It got me. <laughs> Run away. No, I don't want to shoot at its back legs. We need to get out of here. Stamina's out. I need to get in front of it again. There we go. I can hit the... the leg thing again. Oh, 
it's pissed. It's pissed. Get on it. Did we chase it off? Quick commercial break, everyone, to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time. Really appreciate the support. All you got to do is join as a member. You get access to private videos. You can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see. And beyond that, don't forget we're multi-streaming over on Twitch now, so you can support over there as well. Thanks so much to everybody. Let's get back to the video at hand. Which leads me to the next part of this. We're going we're gonna to pause for a minute because I feel like there's been so much going on. I haven't had a chance to address all the other stuff that's here. The pawns are here. They work great. The combat, as you've seen, super fluid. Love it. I'm playing an archer, working my way towards magic archer. It's super fun. Um, all of the deep, rich mechanics that you remember from the first game are here. So you've got all your items. You've got things you can combine to make into different items and different draughts and things for th that you can build um there's your gear uh over here there's your there's your, all your gear there's the gear upgrades that you can do um there's of course the map it's a very big map um then we have your quest journal everything that you're working on there's the photo mode if you want to go into the photo mode and take pictures of things um I haven't really had the desire to take pictures yet, but you can go in here and take pictures of everything. Um, exit photo mode, yes. Uh, and I love this UI menu. Um, but yeah, playing it on the PS5, the performance has been absolutely amazing. I don't know who these people are who are saying, yeah. um, and I am 17 minutes in, and guess what? Not a single microtransaction in sight doesn't mean they're not there the reason i bring it up is because so many people are review bombing the game right now because they claim that the game the game forces you to use microtransactions and that it's this horrible blah blah blah, blah. i streamed eight hours not once did i ever see a microtransaction anywhere on this screen i've i've been playing eight you know eight and a half nine hours now not a single micro microtransaction i didn't even know there were microtransactions for this game until someone came on the stream and started saying, hey, are you aware? Blah, it's getting re review bombed on Steam and all this other stuff. And I was like, I had no clue. I'm too busy playing the game, having fun. So my verdict so far after streaming it for during the launch day is that it was everything I wanted it to be and more because I was a little nervous about some of the jank from the first game. Um, the combat jank is gone. Like the combat, right? The combat is super smooth and fluid. I freaking love it. The only thing it's lacking for me right now is the ability to lock on to target points. And I understand that that's something that comes later when I get Magic Archer because that's part of the the, the mage targeting system is getting the circle rings that you can use to lock onto things. So at some point I'll be getting Magic Archer. I'm not in a rush to get it. Um, I don't know where it is. I don't know anything else. Um, I'm just playing the game at this point as an archer and having a lot of fun. Um, I took uh, a fighter as my primary uh, uh, pawn, and I have two mages backing me up. I have a healer and I have a sorcerer. So I have a mage healer and a sorcerer doing DPS. So it's been a great party so far. I haven't come across anything that I couldn't um, overcome. Um, I've had a couple of surprise encounters that kicked my butt three or four times. Um, so there's definitely challenge here, but it's not overly difficult. Um, you know, it's definitely not Dark Souls at all. It's just as long as you're playing strategically, you should be dealing, you know, okay. But sometimes you're going to get overwhelmed if it's the middle of the night and your guys are chasing an ogre across the battlefield and suddenly there's wolves involved and then there's hobgoblins involved and then you're dead. Like, there's just sometimes it happens. Um, exploration is dangerous you need supplies i can't tell you how many times i've forgotten to get supplies before i left got 20 minutes into the field and been like ah shit i forgot this that or the other um so you got to make sure you bring your supplies make sure that you've topped up at the end brought a camping kit there's a ton of really deep rich rpg mechanics at play here in terms of needing to pay attention and slow it down smeagol are you here again buddy you want to go get some food well we're finishing up buddy yeah we're finishing up the review yeah um, so, um, there's been a lot to love here and I've been having a lot of fun and I think that, you know, I was a little worried about, you know, some of the AI pathing with the, the, um, 
the pawns, it's not been too bad. There's a little bit of jank here and there with the camera when you when you get locked into a corner by a boss mob. If you like climbing on their back and stuff. And there's a little bit of stuff with some of the um, AI pathing for the the um, the pawns, but it's been sort of if you just slow down and take your time. I don't need kisses, thank you, buddy. <laughs> it's been a really great first impression so far, everybody. Um, that's it. I'm having a lot of fun. Um, I'm about to go take a nap. We're going to come back with a second stream today, and we're going to be streaming all weekend. So if you like the stream and if you like my video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Streams are happening between here and on Twitch. There's a lot of playlists. Got to play a lot of games. There's a Discord, and there's lots of cats in my videos because we have like eight cats so and a homestead. So if you like all that kind of stuff, hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe. Spiegel really wants lunch, so I'm going to go give him some food. And then uh, I'll see you guys later on. Don't forget the playlist. Links are down below. Cheers, guys.